It's a, a, a great pleasure uh, for me to introduce. He's the president of the New Jersey Hall of Fame, the Board of Trustees. He's a great guy. Steve Edwards. Sell out tonight. Give yourself a big round of applause. Only Blue Springsteen and E Street Band sells this place out, and us. Also, many, many thanks to the Live with Kelly and Ryan. That sounds good. Film crew who are in the house filming the segment for tomorrow's show, 9 a.m. So, uh, ladies, fix your hair, and big shout out to Kelly, Kelly Ripa, one of the ultimate Jersey girls. bottom of my heart, thank you, on behalf of the New Jersey Fall of Fame Board of Trustees, to you, our audience, to our inductees, our presenters, our very able production crew, and all the many volunteers that make nights like this happen. As you can imagine, there's a lot of moving pieces, and the Hall of Fame Board of Trustees is very grateful that we have that team in place. But I especially want to thank our sponsors. Two dozen elite men and women who believe in this mission and are Jersey proud. And please give it up for our sponsors. It's a special honor for me to accept our next inductee, Chuck Reckner. I've had the good fortune of meeting most of our inductees oh, over the years. They're all special people who reach the pinnacle of their professions. They've given back to their communities and they haven't forgotten the Jersey roots. I don't think that I've met anyone, though, that is more humble and down-to-earth than Chuck Reckner. Quick story, in 1977, I went to the movies one night with my dad in Cranford, New Jersey. We saw a film that, Cranford, New Jersey? We saw a film that many of you saw around that same time entitled Rocky. Everyone, of course, knows the story of Rocky. When I came out of the movie theater, Two hours later, and I can remember this like it was yesterday, I shadow boxed my way from my seat across the street into my dad's car. And he looked at me like I was insane and laughed at me. But I wasn't insane, I was inspired. I felt like I could accomplish anything if I set my mind to it. Little did I know, though, that the inspiration for that film was a gentle giant of a man who lived just 10 miles away from that theater in Bayonne. The small little town my grandparents grew up in in the 1920s. That man, of course, is Chuck Reckner, and he's a very special man indeed. Now, of course, I do know that story, you know that story, and millions of people know it. As a matter of fact, a new film about Chuck premiered in L.A. just last night. Its producer is an acclaimed actor, a Tony Award winner, four-time Golden Globe nominations under his belt. I'm referring to Lee Schreiber. Lee was planning to be here, sorry to tease you, but he was planning to be here up until about a week ago, but he got pulled into Ray Donovan production. But he did send this. Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm sorry I'm not there tonight. Uh, there is actually nothing I would rather be doing right now than celebrating an extraordinary New Jersey original like Chuck Webber, but we are opening a film about him this weekend in LA, and I need to be here. Um, they say that the, the, the true measure of a man is how he handles himself in adversity, and I don't know anybody who handled adversity better who absorbed punishment, who took on unthinkable challenges and through sheer tenacity, courage, and absolute determination to always keep moving forward, uh, to find himself. I think that, that style of Chuck's, that, that, that determination to always keep moving forward is been inspirational to me and, and obviously inspirational to millions of other people. So congratulations, Chuck. Um, very proud of you. Uh, I really wish I could be there. Love to Linda. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed tonight. Celebrate, you deserve it. It was an honor to make this film with you. And uh, here's a little video to show you a little bit more about who Chuck Webner was. Oh, look at that work, no who he is. Known as the Bayonne Bleeder, Chuck Webner was a heavyweight boxer and very much the underdog when he went 15 rounds with world champion Muhammad Ali in a legendary 1975 title fight. A liquor salesman by day and a boxer by night, this lifelong resident of Bayonne gained sudden fame after the match and went down in history as one of the few boxers to knock down Muhammad Ali. His story and kept fighting and inspired the Rocky film franchise. I know what I'm doing, that's what I know what I'm doing. Don't fight ever get bitch! Go out there and do it, Rock. I am the tiger. You understand? Yes. Yeah. He's just a man. Chuck also scored notable wins over boxers Randy Newman and Ernie Terrell. He wrestled Andre the Giant at Shea Stadium and even tussled with a bear more than once. In 2011, the ESPN documentary The Real Rocky detailed his unique career and life story. His journey is in the spotlight once again. In the newly released drama, Chuck, starring Lee Schreiber, Naomi Watts, and Elizabeth Moss. Tonight, this legendary New Jersey underdog joins the New Jersey Hall of Fame. Joining me now is that little kid, all grown up. Please welcome Chuck's lifelong friend, Bruce Dillon. You're gonna love this guy. How many stories do you have to tell tonight? One. One, I have a culture, but I'm only gonna tell you this one tonight. Anyway, I'm thrilled to be here, Steve. Uh, I own an auto repair shop in Bayonne. Years ago, I asked Chuck to do an air for me. In this air, he said, you're not going to pay a lot for this exhaust system. Get a picture of Chuck. <laughs> anyway, the air was going good until I got a call from Meineke Corporate Headquarters, Sarasota, Florida. They said, who's doing I said, yeah. They said, we understand you're running an ad that says you're not going to pay a lot for us. I said, yeah, but I didn't say muffin. <laughs> they said, we paid George Foreman $4 million to say the words you're not going to pay a lot for this, and that's our trademark, and you're infringing upon it. I said, wow. I only gave Chuck a flat repair and an oil change. <laughs> well, they, laugh, they laughed too. And they said, stop or we're going to sue you. I think I got the better deal. Anyway, one more thing. Please join us next week at the Red Carpet premiere of Chuck's movie in Bayonne. It's going to be great. And it's going to help us raise money for a future statue of the champ in his hometown.
Am I going all the room or are you coming back? Thank you very much. I love you.